DC here, hi guys and gals. Hey, hope you're well. And uh, just got home after a short walk and a visit. And oh, actually, I realize I still have the the headphones. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just vlog with them in. Yeah, so uh, in the barbecue corner. But uh, it's Sunday afternoon, and uh, like I said, I just got back from a walk. A rather sobering walk. I mean, this morning we had a good Sunday morning. Uh, we uh, were at church here and uh, uh, church online with a group at Headington, Oxford. And uh, it was quite amusing because the pastor in Oxford even mentioned us, you know, in his, in his talk at one point, uh, you know, about his, his people over in Switzerland. He didn't say it that way. But, you know, as viewers, basically. Yeah, and then this afternoon, I uh, went and visited a friend. Oh, goodness. Uh, it's a friend of mine. I can say it because he's not going to be watching anything. He doesn't watch anything that I do and uh, so on. But a friend of mine who was in a psychiatric ward. Yeah, it's not been an easy uh, last few years for him. And... Um, I won't get into the details because, frankly, I don't know all of them. Right now, I mean, I know that he's on the on the downside where they're trying to uh, stabilize his medicine or something like that. So anyway, I had to go and pick him up. They don't just let him out just like that without knowing where he is. It's not as bad as it was a while back, but, you know... Uh, those of you who've been in situations like that or know about people in situations like that know that, you know, he he needs surveillance. Let's put it that way. But uh, it's definitely not as bad as it was at one time or another. So, yeah, so we finally, we took a coffee together and uh, we chatted. And uh, I think it did both of us some good. And... Uh, you know, I don't try and, uh, you know, and how could I say, try and find out all about what's going on, okay, what's going on in his side. Just got a message here. There we are. Yeah, I don't try and find out all that's going on in his side. He tells me what he wants, and uh, that'll do. Uh, I'm not there to judge him, you know. And uh, what I'll, I mean, I tell him about my life. The ups and downs, you know, there's uh, uh, the things we chatted about, you know, I mean, he he should not think, you know, that I lead a 100% perfect life. And, you know, if there's little things that bug me, I mentioned it. I mean, I didn't uh, uh, go to him for counseling. That's not what I meant. But I think, you know, what I mean is that uh, I didn't try to like to pile in on him, you know, that I was Mr. Perfect and that he was not. So that was what was really maybe the important thing so anyway we had a real fun i was going to say fun we weren't joking or anything although we had our moments of you know a bit of fun talk and uh but i could see like you know he was uh he he was in a cloud he told me himself he told me himself that he was in a cloud and that uh, it was he knew it it was because of some of the meds so we, we chatted about that a little bit. And uh, since I had worked in the field at one time in my life, um, so, I mean, I, we chatted. Like I said, you know, it's really frustrating when you think it's like 35 years I was in that field. And there hasn't been great advances, if you think about, you know, like a lot of the same things are out there. Uh, sometimes it's dosage, it's different. Sometimes it's combinations of drugs or meds. But uh, <clears throat> there hasn't been as many breakthroughs as one would like to think. And it's not a big surprise, actually, because really, I mean, uh, there's as many, usually there's about as many mental illnesses as there are patients. So that's not a problem. And that's not a surprise. It's like I was chatting, actually, when, when my friend, I said, if I was in your shoes, I would be in a similar situation. We wonder what would be the best meds for me and I said that's what they're they're working on I guess anyway so yeah that was it so that was my 
my afternoon. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get my my son later on because uh, his wife and kids are are over in Spain, and uh, while well, they're in the camping car, and the camping car shares a license. You can do that over here in Switzerland. I I can't remember if you can do that in North America or not. Uh, they they share like the same license plate as the car. You save a lot on insurance that way. But the flip side to that is that the car without, uh, you can't drive the car without the, the license plate. So he's mostly using his e-bike, but uh, they live up in the hills and it's supposed to be pouring rain tomorrow. So since he works in town, uh, we told him he'd be better if he came and, well, he, we talked together and better if he came and slept home and then here. And uh, that way he doesn't have to go so far to get to work. Anyway, that's, that's that for that side of things. Yeah. Anyway, so aside from that, I mean, it's a, it's not a bad day. It's pretty cloudy, but, um, What's going to happen is that, like I say, it's supposed to be tomorrow. There's going to be rainstorms. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm trying to think. There was another thing I wanted to talk about, and it's gone. Now. There you are. Old age is setting in. I knew there was something else I wanted to vlog about. I'll probably think about it as soon as I, you know, turn off the camera. But it doesn't matter actually because I'm up to six minutes something. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, that'll be DC signing off. Take care, everybody, and I hope you have a hope you have a great Sunday. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go in. And, you know, I might go in for a beer. I feel like having a beer. I think I'll do that. Okay, DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.